law enforcement is taking a huge hit in 2022, and we didn't even get out of January yet. Three law enforcement officers shot in the span of two weeks in Milwaukee County. It marks a violent start to the new year, along with 22 homicides in the city. How can I recruit? How can the chief of police, how can the fire and police commission recruit individuals to serve in this profession? Fortunately, all three officers survived, but the violence is causing concern with police recruitment and retainment efforts. When these shootings happen, I think it definitely puts on there, do I want to be a police officer and, and go and serve our community knowing that I, you know, all these officers have been shot? I think that definitely would hamper, you know, um, recruitment. Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman told 12 News there are 226 vacant positions within MPD and 107 people retired last year. I am seeing uh, a little more resignations. What does that do to the rest of the staff and the safety of the people of Milwaukee? It causes uh, the strain, um, understanding that we are uh, expected to do more with less. Chief Norman said he doesn't know if the violence is the reason for resignation, but he has a message for anyone who wants to be a Milwaukee police officer. It's not really a job, it's not really a career, it's a calling. You find that calling, it speaks to you. We need those who are guardians, who want to be part of solutions. Courtney joins us now live. Now, Courtney, while they work to recruit, did the chief say how the department can help reduce the strain on its current 1,600 or so officers? Well, Joyce, he told me that they have discussed hiring civilians for administrative roles to take some of the burden off of the officers in the street. However, those workers would not be able to make arrests or handle violent situations.